Reyes, and I am here from Branson International Film Festival, and I have the honor and privilege today to introduce you to Ray, as you go by Ray Mint or Ray? I go by Ray. Ray, okay. Ray Mint, yeah. Ray? That was easiest. <laughs> okay, and yeah. then is it Roberson? You got it. Yes, it is Roberson. Hey, yeah. I did it Thank right. You. Nice. Thank so you. I would like to introduce you all to Ray, and he's just going to give us a little bit of an update of who he is and where he's been and where he's going. And if you were at the film festival in 2021 and you saw Vincent's vow, then you would have seen him in that um, movie. He did a great job. And so we just wanted to catch up with Ray today and see what's new in his world. So thank you, Ray, uh, for being with us. And he is um, on the move on the mobile. So we're going to try and make sure we're real careful with this interview. Yes, so. definitely, definitely. Yes. So no, uh, I'm out here in Atlanta, Georgia. Things have been going very good. I've uh, been very blessed. been taking some fun classes out here, meeting new people. I've recently started going to a st uh, taking stunt classes, actually. That's uh, something I've always wanted to do. So learning like wire work and like uh, theater, film fighting and stuff like that. I recently did a project in St. Louis, which was for veterans mental uh, health, actually. It was very, very good. Um, I will keep you guys posted on when that releases, but it's actually for the veterans and it's a part of a weekly program they go through to deal with some issues they're going through. And I'll play a character, a Marine, who suffers from concussions that sort of serves as an avatar for them as they go through their program. So I was very honored to become a part of that. Yeah, so, that yeah. sounds very interesting. You know, Branson, um, they are um, very big in honoring and celebrating veterans here. And we actually have like a week long, um, during Veterans Week, we have a week long celebration here, so. Yeah, I grew up, my family is a lot of military in my immediate family. Grandfather, uh, grandfather served in the Army, uncle served in the Army, my little cousins, Air Force, my other cousin, Navy. So it's just kind of, yeah, even though I was never in the military, I learned how to walk straight. <laughs> right? So yeah, definitely, but, and, definitely. Did you do the military corners on your bed sheets? You know, making my bed, I'm terrible at, but I tell you what, <laughs> I had the most creased pants in elementary school. There the you crease go. in my pants were fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so you were um, in Vincent's Bow and um, yeah. Dukon Williams has great things to say about, he is a great guy. He um, and he has some, a... he has some go great ahead, things to say about your performance um, and in that as your character being so believable and um, attributing it to that's really who you are. Uh, yeah, um, with Vincent's Vow, that was the last major project I worked on before I moved out of Missouri. But I'm so glad it was, because eh, it's such a, a positive project. But Dukan, Dukan, his, <laughs> when I first met Dukan, it's a funny story. When we first talked one-on-one after my, uh, uh, my audition, he said, okay, first foremost, I'm going to tell you, I'm not the best writer. And I was like, that's not too reassuring. <laughs> but working with him, he's such a genuine guy and he's such a humble person. And I think it comes to filmmaking and his business, business, when you meet people who are humble, it's just, it's just kind of awe-inspiring because while on set, you know, he had all these roles. He, he carried all, he put on all these hats from directing, writing, producing, yes. starring in it. But yet he never walked around with this air of I'm better than anybody or everybody's going to listen to me. He said, Ray, I want you to do what feels natural and I trust you. And because he was so respectful and trusting, you know, it made me want to give my best performance to him. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm honored he says it's genuine, but it honestly came. I was just giving back the energy he was giving me um, on that set. Obviously, my character looks after Vincent, you know. Uh, the yes. looks after Vincent and that's kind of I kind of used how I was feeling about Dukan because he was walking a new territory and you know he was working long hours so I used sort of my care for wanting Dukan to get rest and take care of himself I used that for Dequell so our our relationship on screen just married the relationship behind the scenes for me I just used yes. that natural energy of caring for film itself all the experiences 
it was great. My favorite, uh, my favorite shooting day was actually the fireworks. Like just for <laughs> just for two hours watching fireworks <laughs> go up in the air. I was a kid again. It was great. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, um, hopefully one day you'll be able to work with him in the future. Oh yeah. I mean, every time we talk now and then, I'm like, hey, just let me know when the next project is. Uh, I don't know if I can say what he talked about he was working on. I don't know if he announced that yet. Yeah, I, I, I haven't like, got to interview him yet. So don't yeah, say anything I'm, yet. Yeah, mom's the word. Mom is the <laughs> word. But if, if if it comes through, I told him I definitely want to be a part of it. And like I said, I love working with Dukan because he his heart's in the right place, his head's in the right place, and his work ethic is out of this world. So yeah, yeah well, he and, needs me you in know, there. And he, I've got to interview him once um, last year and then got to meet him in person briefly at the film festival this year. And like you said, he's just a genuinely nice, you know, humble guy. So, yeah. yeah. He's just a guy who, who just um, likes to tell stories and make movies. Yeah. And there is some, and the thing is, I'm such a movie fanatic. You know, Dukan, you would think he was a movie fanatic, but he's really not. Uh, he just had the story he needed to tell, which I really admire. I think a lot of people, when they get a calling, they feel like they're not qualified enough, and they kind then they kind of make excuses. But Dukan, he, you know, he didn't watch that many movies, this or that, but he felt compelled and he made it happen. So that inspired me. But after we were done filming, I sent him so many DVDs and movies. Like, okay, you've got to watch these because <laughs> next time we're on set, you're gonna get my movie quotes and references. And Deborah right. will tell you, I am full of movie quotes and references. That's funny. Well, we have we definitely have our favorites um, at our house too, um, and we will. Some of them we know quite a few of the lines because we've probably watched it more than a hundred times. So, oh, wow. when you need a good yeah. laugh. You know, you watch Elf. It doesn't matter what time of year yes. it is. If you yes. need a good laugh. Elf. You just watch Elf. <laughs> yes, you cannot go wrong with Elf. Uh, Home Alone. I'm a really big Home Alone guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Elf is great. Uh, yeah, big fan of. I'm also a big fan of like cheesy movies that people didn't like growing up, like The Golden Child. That movie got terrible reviews, but as a kid, <laughs> I just loved it. You know, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that same boat. Yeah. Find a movie that feels good and you just watch that thing over exactly. and over. Make it, exactly, make it a tradition. That's right. Like Vincent's Vow. Like Vincent's Ex Vow. Is yes. A great feel -good movie. <laughs> yes, it is. So, um, Deborah says that she's known you for quite a long time. Yeah. So can you recall when you met Deborah? So I remember meeting Deborah at a church. Uh, I said my pastor was Brian Cutshaw on Wednesday night. There was always like a youth ministry and they had their asked for volunteers for some church theater. And that's where I met Deborah. And Deborah was always such a positive, uh, positive person toward me for some acting because back then, I was always a little uh, worried about telling people I wanted to be an actor because obviously it wasn't realistic enough. And, right. uh, you know, as you grow up, you realize there's power in your words. And if there's something you want to do, just speaking into existence and people will help, you know, God will send you people along the way to help you get there. And Deborah definitely was one of those people to help me build my confidence in pursuing acting. You know, she always said, oh, you've got it. Go for it. You've got it. You got a good head on your shoulder. You got a good spirit. Go for it. And the rest is history. I think I've known Deborah close to maybe it was the 20th century when we first met. <laughs> yeah, she said 21st. 20 years. She said yeah, 20 years. Uh, yeah, yeah I, it was beginning of the 21st century. I'll say that. <laughs> and I was going to say, you don't look that old. So you must have been I, I really know. young. I, I was really young. I was probably, yeah, 15, 15. I'm 35 now which blows my mind, but you know, right. it's been a healthy 35. Thank God. Healthy yes. 35. Yeah. You know. I say, I can't believe that I'm 55 and I'll be married for 30 years in December. And I'm like, what the heck? Where'd the time go? Yeah. I'm like, what does that happen? Like sometimes <laughs> I look in the mirror and I see gray and I'm like, who is that guy? Like what? <laughs> it happens. But it's, it's right. like I said, it's been a great, healthy years with good people. So I won't complain, but yeah, yes. time flies. It does for fly. sure. So I know that you've done a lot of um, commercials yes. and you have um, you were in St. Louis area and then mm -hmm. recently moved to Atlanta. Yep. So what would you say is Ray's dream role? Oh, my or dream is there role. like a wow. dream genre that you would like Ooh, to do? That's very good. Uh, 
my dream 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 genre westerns i i have to say for my grandfather i definitely want to do a western uh he was the one that told me about the buffalo soldiers and all that when i was a kid so it will warm my heart to do a western for my grandfather awesome that's well that's, that's i think most, we yeah. know someone who is working on a western <laughs> right now so we oh. might be able to you know do a little hookup there hey <laughs> look they got so many horse riding classes out here in georgia i will i will book one and i will be ready i'm trying on hats as we speak <laughs> awesome yeah. awesome and then um i also heard um that you have been a counselor at kids camp how did that yes. come about that came about uh, a friend of mine. She has been doing it for years now. And uh, she just asked, she said, hey, we need more male counselors. The camp that I uh, volunteered at is called Camp Quality. And what it is, it's a week long camp for kids who have survived or are currently going through um, illnesses, I say, uh, such as cancer. Uh, it's basically just that one week of camp where they get to just be a kid. You get to, as a volunteer, you pair up with a camper and whatever that camper wants to do, whether you go, go fishing, uh, go horseback riding, go do archery. You're just their big brother, big sister, best friend for that week. Uh, nice. and like I said, my friend Tori got me involved in it because she knew I like to do volunteer work. I also, I also, before COVID hit, I used to go to hospitals dressed as Captain America. I have the shield and everything still. Nice. And uh, it, it was just something, like I said, it was just something that kind of fell into place in terms of, you know, the camp counseling and the, the uh, Captain America thing. You know, it's like I have all this, this cartoon, comic book knowledge, kids know about the stuff. And, you know, why not be like a fun big brother who actually dresses up as a superhero and go to camps and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Now, how many times have you done that camp? That camp, my first year was 2019. And obviously we haven't been able to go back since right, right now because of COVID. Right. So it's been a couple of virtual meetings, but as we know, the virtual just is not the same. It's not you know, the same. Wanna, it's not the same. So, no. you know, I'm looking forward to getting back. They're saying next yeah. year it's going to be a, it's going to be official back. So I'm looking forward yes. to it. Yes, yeah, darn that COVID. It needs just needs to leave in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, and the thing is, the kids when when I volunteered, like the kids in our cabin were like 12. So now they're going to be high school teenagers, like and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to grow up so fast. Oh, I know. Goodness. So yeah. 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 I'm looking well, that's to awesome. It. So, so what can we look forward to? I mean, do you have anything going on right now that we can look forward to seeing you in? Uh, like or I can said, you I talk about that, it? I just, like I said, I just finished that military uh, mental health project. Mm -hmm. And then I currently have a short film. It's a, uh, it's an homage to a 1980s buddy cop genre. Like I said, that's another fun genre I love to do, like movies like Rush Hour and uh lethal weapons hang on cash those are fun i have that short film in the works it's and pre uh, post-production now they're working on the sound for that it's actually just called buddy cops so i didn't want to make it too difficult for people to look out for it <laughs> and then uh i'm currently writing now uh i am writing a film it's it's an homage to the old body swap like freaky friday and stuff like that with jamie uh -huh. Curtis. it's called he said she said and it's a it's a about a it's a kind of romantic body swap, swap comedy about a husband and wife who are sort of at odds with each other and they actually switch lives for a few days till they learn to appreciate each other. So it, right. it's, oh, it's, that's it's fun. gonna be very it's gonna be very fun and interesting. Yeah. I it's inspired by uh, the love of my life, me and her when we have arguments, but you know, luckily they're <laughs> healthy arguments, but you know, men and women yeah. will always sort of have that back and forth like oh if you only know yes. so yeah yes. hey, i'm looking forward to that one nice so do you think that you'll do like dukon and you'll write and direct and star in that one i wouldn't mind writing and acting in that one i do want to direct one day um i just feel like acting and directing the same project might be a little bit i would like to when i try something new i like to focus 100 on being good at that right and learning that so when the first time I finally direct, I definitely want to focus solely on directing. Mm -hmm. And then like, 
and then I'll get on Dukan's level and just do everything all at once. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you taking time out of your day. I know you had to pull over, so oh, I no, no. You I, I, reached, I reached my destination. No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, good. So I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not like good, I'm in the good. middle of the freeway or nothing like that. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we appreciate you hanging with us for a few minutes and just letting us know a little bit about who you are and where you've been and what you're up to and uh, what we I, can expect I, next. Honestly, it's my pleasure. It's, it's a privilege to be thought of and prayed over. And thank you guys for the support. And Deborah, as always, thank you for all the support and blessings and prayers you've yeah. said over the years as well. And thank you, like both of you. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, uh, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that I could be a part of something that has gotten attention. So thank you. Yes. And so hopefully when you get some projects finished, then you'll be able to submit them to our festival as well. Oh, without a doubt. Without yes. a doubt. Yes. Yes. We'd love thank to you have guys. you. Yep, thank, love you. To thank, thank you. Thank you. If you want to see this video, make sure that you are signed up for our newsletter. Um, you can go to bransonfilmfestival.com and put in your email, and then that will get you into our email distribution um, for the newsletter. And then all the interviews that we've been doing will be out on our YouTube channel. There'll be a link there for that. Um, so thank you so much to Ray and thank you to you guys for watching and listening today. Have a blessed day. You too. Bye.